Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the 3 bit synchronous binary app counter. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic 3 bit synchronous binary app counter. This counter is a digital device that will is made up of flip flop. Flip flop is the storage element. It will store one bit of data. The counter is used to go for counting purpose from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. Up counter means it is counting from 0 to n. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 like that up to n. Synchronous. Synchronous means all the flip flop are connected with the same clock pulse. Clock pulse is simultaneously given to all the counters. So the operation will be synchronized. Another type is asynchronous. Only first flip flop receive the clock pulse. Second flip flop the clock pulse is nothing but output of the first flip flop. So the operation is asynchronous. So here the 3 bit is there. So 3 bit means 2 to the power 3, 8 combinations will be there. So it will count from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. 8 combination will be produced by 3 bit up counter. Right now we will see the detail. 3 bit synchronous binary up counter is constructed with 3 JK flip flop and AND gate. So here we are using the JK flip flop. The output of F of naught that is first flip flop Q naught changes on each clock pulse as the counter progress from its original state to its final state and then back to the original state. So the first flip flop is connected with the high input. We know that the JK flip flop if both the inputs are high the output will toggle. So first flip flop the J and K input is 1. So every clock pulse its state will be changes from 0 to 1, 1 to 0 keep on doing. To produce this operation the flip flop must be held in the toggle mode by constant high on its J naught and K naught input. Right? So the state should be changes from 0 to 1, 1 to 0 continuously in order to obtain this first flip flop is connected with the high input logic high for both J naught and K naught so that we are getting toggle the output is continuously toggling. Now we will see the logic diagram. So it is made 3 bit counter so 3 flip flops are available flip flop 1, 2, 3 j and j0, k0, j1, k1, j2, k2. This first flip flop receive the logic high. We already discussed. So logic high, both the inputs are high means the output is toggled continuously. For every clock pulse, the output will toggle. For the second flip flop, the inputs are output of the first flip flop. Q0 is connected as a input to the second flip flop. So Q0 is the input to j1 and k1. So that is given J0 and K0 is 1, J1 and K1 is Q0. Output of first flip flop is input of the second flip flop J1 K1. For the third flip flop the input is connected through the AND gate that is Q1 and Q0. Both Q1 and Q0 is connected to AND gate the output of AND gate is connected to J2 and K2. So if both are high Q1 and Q0 both are high then the output will toggle. Here, if Q0 is high, then output will toggle. For this, Q0 and Q1, both should be high, then only the output will toggle. So, this is the clock pulse given, connected to all three flip-flops. Simultaneously, clock pulse is given, so that it is here called a synchronous counter. So, I will explain again, J and K, if both the inputs are high, the output will toggle. For the first flip flop always J0 and K0 is connected with logic high. So for every clock pulse the output the Q0 will toggle. Second flip flop connected with output of the first flip flop Q0. So whenever Q0 is 1 the output Q1 will toggle. For the third flip flop J2 and K2 is connected through AND gate Q1 and Q0. See so both are high then only the AND gate will produce high output. So whenever Q1 is 1 and Q0 also 1 the output of K2 will toggle. Right? Q0 toggle for 
every clock pulse because both are high q1 will toggle whenever q0 is high q2 will toggle whenever q1 and q0 are high now we'll see the timing diagram so this is the clock pulse available because of 3 bit counter 8 states a 8 combinations are available so 8 pulses are applied so this is the q0 output of the first flip flop q1 second flip flop q2 third flip flop q0 is lsb q2 is the msb right so from that we need to get 8 combinations so this is a clock pulse applied here we are applying the positive clock pulse another type is inverted clock pulse here clock pulse is directly applied so this is called a rising edge positive edge this is the negative edge the clock pulse changes this is low to high so every high we are applying the clock pulse this is low from high to zip high to low this is called a negative edge we are not applying negative edge the clock pulse is applied positive so during every rising edge the state of the flip flop will change similarly here this is rising edge this is falling edge this is rising edge this is rising edge this is rising edge right so we are applying the positive edge pulses so this is the positive edge pulse these are all negative 0 to from low to high we are applying if the inverted output is high to low this at this time the pulse will be applied if it is com complemented no, but we are here applying di directly so every positive edge of the clock pulse the state of the first flip flop will change initially all the outputs are 0 q0 q1 and q2 all are 0 it is reset to 0 so during this first clock pulse what happened 0 changed to 1 until the next positive edge until the next positive edge 1 will be maintained at this time again the output will toggle from 1 to 0 until the next pulse so during the third pulse again changes from 0 to 1 fourth pulse 1 to 0 fifth pulse 0 to 1 so this keep on changing 0 1 0 1 because j naught and k naught input is always high so whenever receive the clock pulse the output is toggle 0 1 0 1 like that now we'll see the second flip flop second flip flop the input is q naught q naught is connected as a input to the second flip flop so based on the q naught value the q1 value will be available second flip flop right so here it is zero so there is no change Right. this is the rising edge due to this one the next stage the zero is changed to one here zero is there so no change one is maintained as it is again one due to one one is changed to zero here zero is there so no change one one so that changed from zero to one here zero so no change one is maintained as it is one one is changed to zero right so first flip flop the clock pulse is given always the inputs are one so continuously toggling second flip flop also clock pulse given but the input is q0 q0 is the input of the second flip flop so the input zero means no change input one means toggle right but in first flip flop always one is connected but here this depends upon the q0 value so zero means no change 1 means 0 changed to 1 0 means no change right so that we are getting this output like that see this diagram here always 1 is connected so always every clock pulse q0 changes but here j1 k1 connected as q0 whenever q0 is 1 then only the output will toggle if q0 is 0 no change right so based on that the clock diagram is available so whenever 0 no change Whenever Q0 is 1, that means J1, K1 is 1. So, the change from 0 to toggle, 0 to 1. Again, it is 0 means no change. 1 means 1 is changed to 0. Like that it goes. Right. What about the third flip-flop? Third flip-flop is connected with AND gate. With Q0 and Q1. 
if both q0 and q1 is 1 then only the AND gate will produce the output as 1 at the time only the, the state the state of the flip flop will toggle right otherwise 0 see here both are 0 so that's 0 here 1 0 so the AND gate output is again 0 only 0 1 0 there here 1 1 is there q0 and q q1 also both are 1 so the AND gate will produce high output so that j2 and k2 will get high input so due to high input what happened toggle 0 changed to 1 right due to this one this due to the both are 1 the 0 is changed to 1 the same thing will be maintained until next one next uh, both inputs are 1 when when the next two stage of both inputs are 1 then only the state will changes right so here both are 1 so 0 changed to 1 that is continuously maintained because here 1 0 means totally 0 0 1 so final output is 0 and gate here both are 1 so again toggle from 1 to 0 right so due to this both 1 toggle from 0 to 1 due to this both 1 toggle from 1 to 0 right now we got the output q0 q1 and q2 our aim is to get the counting from 00 to 111 see this available 000 right then 001 otherwise i will read from this 001 010 011 100 101 110 111 111 again 000 so based on the output of the three flip flop it will produce the counting of three bit eight combinations are produced right see here 111 110 right we are getting this now we'll see the description what we discussed the description is available so here the truth table is available the clock pulse the output q2 q1 and q0 this q0 is lsb q2 is msb initially all are zero when the first clock pulse is applied this q0 become one see this this q0 the input is always high so this toggling 0 1 0 1 so every clock pulse there is a toggle for q0 when this one is there then it is toggle one is there then toggle from one to zero again one is means zero to one right so whenever q0 is one there is a toggle for q2 both are one both are one means toggle from zero to one until say next both both ones again both ones mean one is zero so that we are getting the eight combination starting from zero zero to one 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 again it is reset to zero right so the first flip flop both inputs are always high so every clock pulse toggling second flip flop based on the input from first flip flop when it is one toggle zero to one one means one to zero whenever one one is there in the q naught there is a toggle q2 third flip flop when both are one then toggle from zero to one again here both are one one to zero other terms are zero right so the output of flip flop one q1 that is second flip flop goes to the opposite state following each time q not equal to one these changes occur at second clock pulse fourth clock pulse sixth clock pulse and eighth clock pulse the clock pulse eight causes the counter to recycle to produce this operation q not is connected to the j1 and k1 inputs q naught is connected of the flip flop one when q naught equal to zero when q naught equal to one and clock pulse occurs flip flop one in the toggle mode right if q naught is one then toggle thereby change in the state when q naught is zero no change in the mode remain the present state right so whenever q1 q naught equal to one mean the state of the second flip flop changes q not equal to zero means no change same thing will be maintained then we'll see the third flip flop the output of f of 2 q2 changes state 
both the time it is prescribed by unit condition in which both Q0 and Q1 are high. Third flip flop connected by the AND gate with Q0 and Q1 as a input. So both are high then only the toggle will occur. This condition is detected by the AND gate and it is applied to J2 and K2 inputs of flip flop. Whenever both outputs Q0 and Q1 equal to 1, the output of AND gate make is K2 and K2 is 1. So flip flop 2 will toggle on following clock pulse. Right? When both are 1, then only the output of the AND gate is 1. So that J2, K2 is 1, flip flop will toggle. Otherwise, J2 and K2 inputs are held low and AND gate output does not change the state. Right, be any one is zero means there is no change. So in this video we discuss three bit synchronous up counter. Up counter means zero zero to one one one. Three bit eight combinations are there. We discuss the logic gate, clock diagram and description. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.